Welcome to our February 2023 hiking adventure. Exploring a wild and forgotten local reservoir, we discovered some fantastic fishing spots. Jungle warfare. <sighs> Caught loads of pike. And again, straight after next cast. And got some amazing footage of our journey. Yes. yes. We hope you enjoy watching our progress over the month as we chase one of the monsters that must surely live in this water. Although not everything went smoothly. Oh, no, 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 ah, he's gone, he's gone. So, whilst Nate caught the first fish, Sam soon leveled things up with a small jack of his own. However, it's what happened next that got us really excited for the next month ahead. Well then, we should break your duck. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Let's have a look at him. They are pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. Look straight out. Have a little photo of him. Yeah. Sticking back. Beauty. Off he goes. Well, the mate. Damn it. Show us your little. Oh yeah, nice. Rattle spoon. Oh yeah, that hooks on to the... Well, it just goes underneath that bit, does it? Yeah. Stop the hook from... Oh yeah, that just sits in front of it and just... It's meant to just push it away a little bit. Yeah. Don't know how long it'll hold for. Nice. Oh, that... oh yeah. So that's what happened. Oh, just, yeah. That's why, with like your net so much deeper, that wouldn't have happened. This net's so shallow, it just... Like the muscle of it just snaked it straight out. Oh, got him, oh, mate. God, that is got him. So, so Sam had that attached to a circle. Kind of, I don't know what size the other pike was, do you reckon? That's 20 plus easy. That must be mid 20, maybe higher. Mid 20 pike took that pike, landed them both, oh, and then it's just jumped out the net. Devastating. That is devastating. i get this one back in. Yeah, yeah. They do survive. You often see them in marks like that. That so, was an alligator. That was a huge <laughs> pike. That's the biggest pike I've seen on the back. That was bigger than my personal vest. That is gutting. Oh, I just saw it. It's like muscle off your neck. Just gave it enough. Just go boom. Oh, no. <laughs> that, I don't know why you're smiling. No, I couldn't be smiling right now. I'm, I've just caught a massive pike. That I was cool though. That. Like, yeah. I got it in the net. Yeah, true. Does it count? That's the question. It that doesn't is have what a weight. It does that it count. I don't think it counts for the bit. I, I would. Uh, I not for the biggest. But I'll give you a point it for it. In the net. Uh, yeah, it definitely gets a yeah, point. I didn't you weigh it, so I get that's reasonable. Oh, I got it. <laughs> that is I was hoping the little one jumped out. Yeah, I, was really, I was really hoping to see that weighed. Unfortunately. I missed out on getting any of that action footage. I stupidly left my GoPro on the bank, but Sam started to get over the disappointment of losing that monster pike by catching a few more jacks. Is that fish number four, really? Feels nice to session for you. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. So, I knew my time on the bank that month was going to be pretty limited. The only real chance I had to get out regularly was to sacrifice my Saturday lion and come up for about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and just fish for a couple of hours until about half past nine. So obviously it was February, it was dark at that sort of time in the morning. Um, I was using my head torch to kind of get me around the footpaths and that's when the light shone upon this little orange float hidden amongst some trees in the water. So that got my attention and I went to investigate. Alright, I don't know how well you can see that, if at all. There's a float back there. It keeps dipping under and moving around. There's a fish attached to it. 
I'm going to wade in. See what it is. Quite a big float. It's a pike. You see it just there? So after that fish swam away, I did jump in with my waders, took a net with me, and had a little search around to see if that fish was snagged up somewhere so I could net it and get that hook out of his mouth. But unfortunately, it was never to be seen again. I just hope that it managed to shake that hook out and survive to tell another tale. But it does go to show that we should all be fishing safely. Our rig should be safe so that in case we do snap off, the only thing left in that fish's mouth is a hook and a little bit of free line. We don't want it to be trailing floats or leads. We're going to get it snagged up even more. So yeah, make sure if you do snap off, all that extra terminal tackle can just fall off with only the hook and a little bit of line left in the fish's mouth. It took a little while, but eventually I found the swim where I managed to catch a few fish. Okay, a small one by the looks of it, but still. Fish is a fish. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. Let's get this snack out of the water. And there we go. Oh. We're in. We are in. Oh, there are branches round here everywhere, so... Let's get them in nice and quick. There we go. Now, part of the reason I absolutely love this venue is because how wild it is. There's weed covering the lake everywhere, it's just tree lined, yeah, and there's, there's not actually many swims you can fish off. So, part of the adventure for me is to get in the water, search out for some new areas that have not fished very often, and yeah, just enjoy that adventure of it. So, what I did later that morning was I just stored my tackle out the way looking for a few spots. Now whilst this is fun it is also important to remember that you can very quickly get yourself into a dangerous situation. It's very silty here, it drops off quite quickly in places so don't just go diving in, make sure you know what you're doing and most importantly keep yourself safe and don't take any unnecessary risks. I'm just trying to find a way to get into the corner of this lake. Just left my stuff out of the way for the minute. I'll be home in 15 minutes, so it's just a quick five minute look around. Jeez, oh, goes deep here. So I'm trying to get into. Oh, it stinks as well. Oh, 
hear those bubbles around me. Look at that. Stinks. Oh, oh gee, I can't get in there. Oh, if you find this phone, I'm in the silk somewhere. Oh, that's too dangerous. Right, another spot. Try to wade through to the branches and the weeds. So I'll get to there. Oh, it just dropped down so deep. A bit more solid ground there though. branch out of the way. Sorry, I appreciate you probably can't see too much, but you just get an impression of how difficult this is. There we go. Oh. Oh, they get silty. Quite a day there. Quite pass out with silt fumes. But I think I can hopefully get just past the edge of there. And I've got a real good secluded spot then where not many people are going to go for obvious reasons. So, whilst Nate and Sam were getting down there regularly and catching lots of nice fish. I was struggling to find the time to fish it on a regular basis and when I did I was finding that my choice of laws just weren't that suitable for this type of lake. Like I say it's very weedy and most of my laws were pretty heavy and so they're sinking down pretty fast and on the retrieve they'll just get entangled up nine times out of ten. So it wasn't really giving the fish a chance to see that lure and attack it. So, I had another change of approach, found another new swim, and I bought myself a rattler. So these, if you haven't seen them, they float on top of the surface, which meant most of the time I could avoid the weed. I also ditched the attempts to catch lots of fish, and I wanted to try and pick out some of the bigger monsters that this venue surely has. Sam, Nate, your time, as Pikey Kings is coming to an end. I've just come across this amazing little swim. Bit of a jungle girl climb through. So, you, know, you might not even see this video, I might not make it back, but if I do, yeah, your time as Pikey Kings is over. I've given up trying to catch as many fish as you guys, I haven't got the time. You guys just work part time, come out when you want, fish. 10 hours every day and yeah catching lots of lovely fish well done so i'm giving up on that and i'm going for the big big mama and this swim here is going to hold the big big mama not going to tell you where i am you have to work it out for yourselves but yeah i'm going to go in there going to uh, chew up spit out and stamp all over your piking royalty this morning. It's half past seven, I've got an hour and a half, I've got to go home, because you know, some people actually have responsibilities in life, they have to do stuff, can't just come out fishing all the time. So yeah, anyway, gonna get to it. Gonna send you another video in about 10 minutes with a 40 pound pike in my net. Oh, oh, my goodness, 
Actually got a pike on. There's a monster. But he's in that. Nate, Sam, off the mark. Catching you up now. It's not a double. Well, probably four or five pounds, something like that. Nice long fish. But don't be shaking in your boots because this spot is the one. Got a feeling. That was on the rat, the big rat. Took the, the first hook by the tail. So I can get us on back now so we can get another one before I have to go home. Happy days. Right, here you go. This will make you laugh. Half fell in. Managed to save myself, but my right side. I had to sacrifice the greater good of not getting absolutely soaked. Be safe, kids. Right, quickly going to try and retrace my steps now. See if I can find the rod pod, not the rod pod, the tripod for my camera. Let's come out my bag somewhere. Luckily I've only been to two other swims this morning. No trouble this, the first swim, it was pitch black when I went. I just have my head torch on, but there's a couple of ways you can, you can go in that sort of direction. So I've got to try and remember which path I took. See if I can come across it. If not, someone's got a little present there this morning. Right, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, excuse me mate, you ain't seen a black bag with a tripod in it have you? No? Alright, well thanks anyway. Have a good one. Well, those cows in the milk were they? Damn, getting the bike, I lost the tripod. Hopefully it'll turn up. Anyway, that's my little session over this morning. Got about an hour and a half fishing in the end, so not very long, but long enough to snow that little pike on the rat. Happy days. So as always, Nate wasn't content with already catching the most fish. He was jealous of the swim I found, and he wanted to go and poach those fish as well. So guys, I'm uh, I'm going to make my move down to uh, down to a swim down uh, down that far end. So on this swim, which we're all very familiar with, we all found it independently of each other. Um, you know, the little gravel swim. That's what we'll call it, the gravel swim. Um, doesn't know. Is me and Lewis found his little secret swim tucked around the back down there. Um, literally the day after, the, well, it might have been the day before he messaged. So I'm going to go around there now and try with my uh, surface lure. Could be fun. Well, guys, £9.3 ounces all down there in that bottom uh, bottom corner. I've still got all of this to do yet. <laughs> and again, straight after, next cast. Fat, but not... Uh, not a chunker, but yeah, nice. That's fish number two. All right, boys, now it's getting silly. Fish number three. <laughs> I'm not even joking now. I've just hooked a jack pike, like literally two feet in front of me. That's fish number four. Whoa. Boys, you ain't gonna believe this. I've just got back out here, first cast. 
Another pike. A bit smaller than the other one. It's about, I don't know, five pound maybe? But yeah, another f***ing pike. <laughs> hey man, so um, this swim's f***ing incredible, Chris. I know. Why do you think I spent time trying to find this sort of swim? Out there, I've had two massive takes. One of them snagged me up in that bit of weed there. The other one was right over there and it absolutely done me. Like, it was screaming line. I don't know what the f*** it I, I wanted it so bad. But um, I just put out in front of the tree here and uh, there we go. Not huge, but he struck it four times. I cast over it four times. Every time he struck it and then never hooked him. This time, bang. So, after being bombarded with messages from Nate about how many fish he was catching out of my swim, I decided to take Elsie and Hank down for a walk to see this poacher. I mean, pro fisherman in action. Right, we're just walking around the lake to go and see Nate, aren't we, Elsie? Can you say hello? Say hi. Hi. You eating sausage roll? Nummy, nice. We've got Hank with us, haven't we? We're going to see if we can go find Nate. He's pinched my swim and he's poaching all the fish out of it. So we're going to go tell him off. I'm going to say, Nate, get out of my swim. That's what we're going to say. That's right. Say, Nate, get out of my swim. That's right, good girl. <laughs> and we've got Hank as backup. Oh, what's that? A muddy puddle? Good jumping. Be nice for Elsie to see one. There it is. Oh, that's a better fish, isn't it? Nate's got a fish. It looks it. Oh yeah, I'll come and help, but I've got the waders on. That looks a lot bigger than I've seen so far. Whoa, look at him. All right, let's get him. How big do you reckon he is? I don't Eight? Yeah, I don't think he's quite up for maybe touching nine. Still not hitting sounds one. 11, 4, minus 3, 8, 8, 4. Nice. Yeah, happy. Happy. Because he's got big old teeth, this pike has. Oh, look at him. Look at that. Hey? Look at him. He's nice, isn't he? Very pretty. Shall we put him back? Yeah, let's put him back. Do you want to Do touch him a little bit? Do you want to stroke his tail? You touch his tail? Can you touch it? Should we touch it like this, look? Oh, look. He's okay, he won't move. Should we touch him? Good girl. Okay. What does he feel like? Slimy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah look at his teeth. Look at these. Oh, big gnashers. Got big teeth. Big teeth. We'll get him back now, shall we? Yeah, let's get him back. He's had enough stress. Unfortunately, a couple of days later, I hurt my knee in a car accident. Now, this put me out of action for a couple of weeks, which I was obviously gutted about because the other guys were still out catching fish. And yeah, it took a couple of weeks for me to get back down to the bank. It was still a little bit painful, so I thought the best way to restart was to do a little bit of dead baiting, as it was a bit more static than walking around with a lure rod all the time. Before I got the dead baiting rod out, I did have a quick lure around, and I managed to catch the smallest fish of the month. First fish of the morning, this little monster. Get the size of him. Beautiful little baby. Just pop him back in the water. Oh, not good in the knee. Sit down. Where are you, mate? Off you go. You can sit there, are you? 
the angry, there he goes. Hello? Hello. My float just dipped under. Sorry? My float just dipped under. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah. It's pulling away. Should we go hit it? Yeah, it's pulling away. Yeah. We're in. Oh, amazing. It's your second, isn't it? Yeah, mate, you see my little. I did, that's an awesome. Little baby. Oh, it's going to be a dead baiting day. Well, it might be, I don't know. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, brutal! Damn. So, on my first ever cast dead baiting, I managed to hook into a fish. Unfortunately, it wasn't hooked for long, and it popped back off again. I was pretty gutted, but I was also pretty excited that I managed to hook one in the first place. Later that morning, Nate's family joined us for a couple of hours. They came on a little walk. And Nate and Archie showed me a brand new technique of how to lure fish. Bit of teamwork here, is there? If you catch the fish like that. I know, it'd be epic, wouldn't it? Keep going, keep going. Keep going, get it on here. <laughs> right, so we just moved up to the swing swim after nothing down the bottom. Literally first cast out, using a little popper. It must have taken it as it hit the surface. It must have just been sitting there waiting for it. I didn't really in the slack and it was away, so move paid off. Yeah, definitely. Get this one back and see if we can get another one. Yeah. Only a little three pounder, but been hard this morning, so welcome nonetheless. Definitely welcome. Yeah. Nate's just releasing the fishy start my swim. <laughs> releasing the fish straight into his lure. <laughs> 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 tail. Do you need to see his tail? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. That I can't is, see that his tail. Can you see What tail? <laughs> you know that little tail right there. No. That counts. Do you actually need the nut? No, I think I'll just ah, ah, ah. Oh, teeth. Oh, teeth. That's going to spin. Gill plate. Oh, no. No, Steve, still Steve. Still Steve. Steve. <laughs> no, Steve. <laughs> no, Steve. 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 There's a word for this, isn't there? <laughs> Steve! <laughs> now, Wallenfish is going to get a good fish out of here. Yeah. Uh, come on, come back, come back. See, if I was you. Come back, yeah. Hey, Sam. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> ah. I started wearing just managing to keep him. No, oh, no, no, no. Ah, he's gone. He's gone. I've just got to come way over to the left. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you got a tail. Oh, you did. No, 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 don't. I'm in. No. No. You swine. Not only did you poke my bloody face. Mate, you weren't watching. Oh. You put him off. Sam. I thought he was in. Yeah, you put me off. You cold. <laughs> that was a good fish as well. Got a giant rat in front of you. <laughs> Sam. 
I don't know, we were a good fish. You weren't moaning about me using my water. This is my swim. <laughs> that is 12 o'clock in front of me. Yeah, depending what way you're facing. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's in again. Oh, that's a bit better. Well, you shouldn't have put me off then. Well, you should have been fishing my all about the water. Are we on a team or not? <laughs> oh, that is a bit better. It looks a bit better, that one. I think with no wind, you probably would get there. Yeah. Same with the rat, I was getting across with the rat, but. That's my one. Oh, Sam, that's fish number six, mate. If I came over the back, I'd also catch Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Do you want that, Emma, just so I can pick them up? So I don't want to take away those fish that you've got over there waiting for you. Oh, no, fish. Oh, he's not bad, actually. He's all right. God, look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Someone's had that. That's growing freaking great. That looks quite fresh. Oh no, it's back in the net. Bye, Mr. Pike. And so that brings us to the final session of the month. Now, Sam and Nate were way out in front in terms of numbers of fish, but the biggest fish of the month was still up for grabs. I just bought myself a Rapala rattle spoon in a perch colour and it was an absolute game changer for me. Oh, oh, yeah, it's pulling. It's been quite hard, you know. What are you on? A spoon? A spoon, I should have got one. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's got tangled in my other line, look. Oh, yeah, it's put in line. Oh yeah, that's better. So at 12 pounds and nine ounces, I managed to land the biggest fish of the month on the last session. But the action didn't stop there for me. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I'm in again, mate. Circle. Yeah. Honest. Do you want to swap scoreboard, Sam? How do you know? I'm, I'll take biggest fish over most fish. You do a bit. Oh yeah. You don't care who cat Yes. Who catches it, you just go oh, Chris. Yes, Chris. I know how I felt for the last 29 days. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, how many days in February? 28. 27 days. This is the spot. I don't know if it's the dead bait tracks them nearby or um no I wouldn't say that deep it's the spoon so it probably goes like two foot below the water yeah. 
No, fish. fish no. What was that on? Spoon. Feels all right. Yeah. Feels decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Come this way. Yeah, that's all right. Go around again. Oh. Oh. Not quite. There we go. Yes. Nice. Nice fish. Thank you. You said someone take a chunk out of him. Mate, some of these fish are, and they're decent size. Well, that's fr like, quite fresh as well. Scars, yeah. And you kind of think like, what the? F like that's got to be a big old fish to be hitting that. Feel all right? Not running, but there he goes. Let's go straight into that weed bed then. Put your lure back, fish is safe. You should be thrilled for me off the... Well, to be, to be fair, at least it's... Cheers. Yeah, the wind's strong. Where is it? There it is. That's off to you though too, mate. Waiting for the big mama to come get it. He's long. He's got a big wound on him as well. Yeah. Lures out. It's about the same. Maybe a little bit smaller than the last one. Just pictures? Yes, please. Well, my previous best was three fish in a session last year. Hey, we'll so I'm five today. Five. Blinder. 
12, 8 and the 7, let's say. Nice. And two small ones. Yes! Still there. Yeah. So right, there's still plenty of pike around there. That's quite a decent one as well. That's close to double figure, I reckon. There he is, there he is. Oh, he missed it again. He's going to follow it. I kind of hope it doesn't because I can't do any decent <laughs> action there. He's still there. There he is. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 not again. Not again. It's all right, we're good. There is, is that, is that, is that? Oh no, your hook's stuck on the net. That's all barbless as well. The nifty bit of flipping in. There you go. Real mate. He's not bad. You might get 10 for that, you know? I do, but I don't want to walk in and weigh him. You don't? Uh, He's, I reckon he could be 10. He could be. Okay. Let it go, yeah. Oh, shit. What's it say? 14-1. So you got 11. Minus 3, it's 11-1. There you go, see? It is 11-1. And there's no water in that, is there? No, it drained all out. Caught 11. 11-1? Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right, that was way bigger than I thought it was. Oh, you glad you weighed it now? Yeah, I am actually. You're welcome. I would have taken that as like a nine. Yeah. And that was the last fish of the campaign. Now it's an absolutely fantastic month. I really love the pike fishing. So from now on, during the winter, that's the sort of fishing I'm gonna spend most of my time doing. Most of the fish were caught either on shallow type lures or surface lures. And that's mainly because, because of the weed. That's all we can really fish effectively. So I'll be stocking up now on a few different types of shallow and surface lures ready for the next season. I appreciate there hasn't actually been much detail in the lures we were using and the rigs and tactics we were using, but it really was just about trying out pipe fishing for the first time properly. And yeah, learning some basic skills and having a bit of an adventure. Having said that, it's October now, we're going to be pike fishing regularly until February, so I hope to bring you quite a few more videos in the next few months. And in those, I'll go into a bit more detail about the, the lures and the rigs I'll be using. Having said that, I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you again soon.